Hey guys, and welcome back to another Outside the Box Reviews unboxing. And really, the main reason I'm doing this is kind of as an apology, because I haven't been able to do as many reviews lately as I've wanted to. I've kind of gotten some odds and ends out there. It's really just mostly for new stuff not really coming out yet. It's also a slower time of the year, February, March kind of a delay because of Chinese New Year's. I guess the factories over in China are shut down for a while because of that. And this is a slow time for action figure collecting. I, of course, picked up some new figures. I've already reviewed them, the new NECA stuff. Uh, the main thrust of new stuff coming out seems to really be coming from Hasbro and Marvel. And I just haven't been picking up as much of that stuff as I used to anymore. I just kind of got burnt out on Hasbro what they were putting into their figures and I'm not even gonna get into it. It's it's not been good <laughs> But the other thing I picked up recently intending fully to review because it's cool new stuff coming out Was this the uh, horrible glare the Funko Game of Thrones legacy collection and right now they are a Barnes & Noble exclusive, so I went there, picked up Daenerys here. She was the only figure left of the bunch, and really the one I wanted the most. And her leg broke right out of packaging. And apparently other people have been having quality control issues, because I went on Big Bad Toy Store the other day, and they had listed that Wave 2, the one that's going to be general release, not Barnes & Noble exclusive, are going to have improved quality control hopefully that's one of the issues that will be addressed so she's going back to the store and I'm gonna have to wait a little while to maybe pick it up again and review it so that kind of stinks and it's not even like a, a pop joint like you know forcing a stiff joint this was literally right out of the box the peg that goes through her knee that allows it to bend was snapped in half and there was basically no leg joint usable so that really sucks. So this one, going back to Barnes & Noble. But let's get on with it. Let's open this guy up. It's funny, because I used to be straight up, every figure I bought, I went to the store for mostly because I like kind of the hunt for figures, but also because I kind of like to check the quality control on paint and everything. So I like to be able to look and compare the figures, and I still do it when I can. But lately, me and my girlfriend have Amazon Prime, and it's just been so much easier just to find them on there, get two days shipping, and not have to worry about it. All right. <laughs> the new Pacific Rim, the Jaeger Wave. So these are the later figures. We got Cherno Alpha. And Coyote Tango. Very cool. And it looks like my Coyote Tango has a slightly askew uh, gun back there, which seems to be pretty par for the course. We'll see if we can fix that up. But, very excited to get my hands on those. Probably not going to be doing a Giant Monster Monday on these. I did the other figures as Giant Monster Monday because they are legit kaiju. These will just probably get a normal video either this weekend or next week, depending on how quickly I can make this, since I do have work today and tomorrow. But pretty excited to, to finally get those figures complete out Wave 3. And at this point, I really don't know. i got to kind of start looking at what's coming out and when, because most of the NECA stuff I've seen have a pre-order for July or June or May at the earliest. So I still got a couple months where I really don't know what's coming out. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. Maybe do some kind of old school reviews. Maybe redo some earlier reviews just to kind of update. Because now I have a much better camera and all that stuff. So maybe take some of the first figures I ever did and give them another day in court. You never know. 
figure something out. Really, quite honestly, the slowdown in toys coming out is probably going to be good for me because I do need to replace my computer. This one is on its last leg, so most of my tax refund is going to be going towards getting a new computer system, and uh, hopefully that'll make doing these videos go a little quicker, edit a little faster, maybe freaking render them a little faster because that takes hours. It's actually been the bane of Giant Monster Monday lately, is I've been making the video and then forgetting to render it until that Monday when it's supposed to go up, and then it's 11 o'clock at night or something by the time the video finishes rendering, and I still have to upload it to YouTube. So, gotta get a little better on that. I've just been kind of slacking, I guess, but videos will continue coming on what? I'm not sure yet, besides these specific rim figures and more Giant Monster Monday stuff, because I know I have plenty of that to go through. And apparently new Godzilla figures from the new movie are starting to hit Toys R Us. I'm not going to review anything, just like for pretty much any movie, I'm just not going to review it until the movie's out. So it's going to be mid to late May by the time I even think about reviewing any of that stuff. Just simply because I kind of figured a long time ago, especially with like the Marvel stuff and Avengers and other things that it's hard to be the first to get some of the stuff and have the earlier reviews and when the stuff hits every reviewer jumps over new stuff like crazy i don't think godzilla will be quite as bad but specifically the marvel stuff like every reviewer gets in on it right at the beginning so i always thought my best bet would be to just review them after the movie's out as quickly as possible so that i can actually have a little insight into the actual pieces as opposed to just going blindly and like oh yeah that's the new costume i don't know what it does not that it doesn't work i mean it's good to have early reviews of figures but personally i just like being able to have a little more knowledge behind it going into it but yeah at this point i am just rambling so i'm gonna cut it off here go and get these guys outside the box and get reviewing as soon as i can see you guys later